Sky's the limit, man behind the moonstone. Yes, I guess we're going to do Headmaster Speaks. Probably in Hogwarts. Yep, I am correct about that. That is not the one I want. He's near the astronomy wing. He's down. Well, should be close enough, right? All right, we're going to start the Headmaster Speaks as soon as I get over there. Um, you're not telling me how to get there. What is he? Is it not tracking it? What's going on here? Oh, helps if you hit track quest, doesn't it? Yes, it does. We run through the halls, running through the school. Oh, I can't do my little jump thingy now? Whoa, wait a minute. Cool tree. It's red instead of blue. What? No, it froze. Hold on. What is it doing? That was weird. Very strange. What stuff happens in games? Just kind of froze there and wouldn't take any controls. Let's get to the. Wow, I'm going to be running around a lot apparently to get to the Headmaster's Peaks. <laughs> There you go. Got him to shut up with one punch. <laughs> well, I was nowhere. I was way off on, on where I was going. Way off. Running around the whole school at the rate this is going. Do, 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 do. If I could have all that happened that day, I would. Where the heck is this headmaster speak at? He surely doesn't seem to be taking me where I want to go. Keep following the dots. Oh, is the headmaster in my room? Oh, the headmaster. Welcome back. Ah. Hello, Professor. I have news. The goblins are looking for something. Another repository. They've built drills to help with their search. Oh, most troubling. Are these repositories like the broken container I found at Rookwood Castle? They are. I fear we have no time to lose. Have a look at the map. Fortunately, the next trial is fairly nearby. It's Hogwarts. As you know, I was headmistress in my time. My portrait hangs in the headmaster's office. In fact, I witnessed Professor Black learn of your arrival. And I'll confess that I wondered about you. Wait, is the next trial in the headmaster's office? It is. I had hoped that when the time came, the occupant of that office would be of help to us. Unfortunately, this headmaster seems wildly unconcerned with anything but himself. You'll need to access the office while he's away. I understand. Very well. I'll find some way to get in. Good. I shall meet you in my portrait there. Until then. Great. Now we've got to deal with... How will I gain access Blackie? to the headmaster's office? Blackwood? Yeah, Blackwood. That, that Perhaps thing. Professor Fig will know what to do. Um, well, let's not waste time running around. Let's see if we can't. Oh. All right. We got to find Fig's room on our own. You are the talk of the school since you saved Mr. Rayburn Eye from the Ashwinders. 
We have come so far. We should discuss the next steps in our plan to stop Harlow. All right. And to stop Harlow. Where's that at? Great vengeance. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, let's do grief and vengeance then, and then we'll come back to pursuing our main quest. Let's see here. Well, I don't want that. I want somewhere near here, so the astronomy wing. Looks like there's close. She's downstairs. Man, there's tons of stairs in this game. Holy moly. Well, nope, that's... That's the other one. I don't want that one. Ugh. Track quest, locate. She's way over there. All right. All right, where's she at? Oh. Well, wait. Ah, I have been meaning to speak with you. No kidding. I still can't believe we escaped the Ashwinders. You may not realize it, but you are the talk of the school since you saved me that day. I wonder how everyone knows about it. I told my mother in the hope that she would be more forgiving of what I have been up to if it came from me. She likely told other professors and... <sighs> news travels quickly. Unfortunately, she might, in fact, have been even less forgiving than I'd hoped. Uh, her concerns apparently are warranted. I don't blame her for being concerned. We have been involved in some dangerous activities. As the Ashwinders were locking me up and threatening my life, it did occur to me that my mother may have been right. <laughs> has Officer Singer done anything with the evidence we provided? She has not. Halo is as strong as ever. Someone needs to stop him, whether it is us or Officer Singer. If someone had stopped the monsters like him in Matabililand, my father would be alive today. What exactly happened to your father? It was a beautiful day. My mother had gone to tend to a neighbor who was ill, and so my father and I were galloping in the savannah. Galloping? Your father was also an animagus, I take it? He could become the most majestic giraffe, and he would carry me on his back, my arms around his neck. We were on our way home when we surprised a group of bandits who had come from our village. One of them saw me just as he removed a scarf from his face. He shouted and then aimed his rifle. He didn't want you to identify him. Exactly. In an instant, my father bowed his neck to protect me and was hit. As he fell, my father changed back into his human form. When the bandits saw this, they turned and ran in fear. Magic terrified them, and then he was gone. <sighs> and it was all my fault. Your fault? How so? He died protecting me. If I had been capable of protecting myself, he would still be alive today. My mother and I tried to go on without him, but it became too much for us there. A few years later, we left to come to Scotland. Um. Let's see how how's your mother doing. Clearly, we kind of know the answer. What does your mother think it. about all of this? Well, as you saw, she worries a great deal. She is an excellent seer, but I think it bothers her to this day that she did not see my father's death coming. She misses him. As do I. So I believe on some level she understands my need to seek justice in a small way. But that does not mean that she likes it. All right, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, Natty. I can't imagine what you've been through. Your father sounds exceptional. He was truly extraordinary. 
And thank you for your kind words. We all have our burdens. My father had a saying about that. Yes, I remember. Rain does not fall on one roof alone. Exactly. Soon you and I will put an end to the Ashwinders, beginning with Harlow. And once he is gone, we will turn our attention to Rookwood. We are making progress, and we will succeed. Thank you again for Rebellion. Saving. You deserve all of the praise all right, you have well, received. That's the end of that. Oh, it's snowing in the hall. Right, now that is a massive tree. That is ridiculously huge. Okay, so what do we got next on our list? Is it now back to the professor? Yep. Drag quest. Locate on map. Induced injury, but I don't think so. Reckon he was still trying to levitate himself without magic. Goodness. Do 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 do. Wait, what is? It's a quest downstairs. Hold on. Let's see what this is. Where is it? There it is. If he thinks he's getting away with this, he has another thing coming. Pardon me. Is everything all right? No. No, it's not. We only had two bells to go, but she just had to go and spoil things. I'm afraid I don't follow. Who spoiled things? Was it what bells? <sighs> Professor Black ordered Mr. Moon to take down the bells in the bell tower. Said they were giving him a headache. Those bells are a part of Hogwarts. I wasn't about to let that happen. So, I asked my friend Adelaide to help me put them back. We've always been a duo of sorts, Adelaide and Evangeline. Addie and Evie. Anyway, it was going swimmingly until Black started asking questions. Then she wasn't comfortable with our rule breaking. Now I'm stuck. Unable to tell which bell goes where. Yeah, we know about the bells. We know where they're at. Perhaps I could help put the bells back up. Really? Oh, that would be wonderful. The bells are in the bell tower just above the music room. You're certainly of more help than Adelaide. Yeah, we don't follow rules anyways. Um... I imagine the bells are just inside in the bell tower. I guess we're going to go do the bells. Let's go do the bells, I guess. Hey, kitty. Let's go do the little bell thing. We've seen the bells up there. Um, I imagine Repero won't do it, but... Maybe you just have to levitate them into place. A lock in place on their own. That's what I'm hoping. Ah, the bells must be upstairs. Ooh. Uh, nope, don't have it out. Wingardium Leviosa. One up, one to go. Ah, found them. I'll have to get those up there somehow. Wingardium Leviosa, perhaps. Here's the missing one. Wingardium Leviosa. Well, that wasn't too hard. Evangeline should be pleased about this. Even if Black isn't. Oh, I'm not either. That is annoying. Get the heck out of here. That was annoyingly loud bells. Very annoyingly loud. This is a long run back. Oh. Door. Thank you. Oh, hey. 
I heard about you. Ow! Good for you. They do melt. Ha! <laughs> I won that snowball fight, sir. No, I want his hat. No, wait. Uh, this way. Back up the stairs. Stair running. This is how you stay healthy. An unbelievable amount of stairs in a building. Eesh. I'm tired just watching it. There you go. The bells are back up, Evangeline. Oh, you're a credit to the school. I can't wait to hear them. I can't wait for the headmaster to hear them. I wish I could see his face. Future generations may not truly appreciate what you've done, but I do. And I hope that you do as well. All right. You don't know how much this means for me and for Hogwarts. Side quest and relationships. Wow, I've done one. <laughs> I've done one. <laughs>